Special thanks to the Patreon supporter, Repentless Liam, for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scout204 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Illusion IL-76. The Illusion IL-76, native reporting name Candid, is a multi-purpose four-engine turbofan strategic airlifter designed by the Soviet Union's Illusion Design Bureau. It was first planned as a commercial freighter in 1967 as a replacement for the Antonov AN-12. It was designed to deliver heavy machinery to remote poorly serviced areas. Military versions of the IL-76 have been widely used in Europe, Asia, and Africa, Africa including use as an aerial refueling tanker or command center. The IL-76 has seen extensive service as a commercial freighter or for ramp-delivered cargo, specifically free for outsized or heavy items unable to be otherwise carried. It has also been used as an emergency response transport for civilian evacuations as well as for humanitarian aid and disaster relief around the world. Because of its ability to operate from unpaved runways, it has been useful in undeveloped areas. Spe specialized models have been produced for aerial refueling and zero-g training. So yeah, a really interesting aircraft with a pretty long history to it. Uh, its first flight being in 1971 and its introduction into service in 1974. Um, currently it's uh, used by the Russian Air Force and I believe it is still uh, fairly widely in service with them uh, basically as one of their primary aircraft uh, for cargo transport I guess similar to that I guess to the United States is C-17. Um, it's a really nice looking aircraft and I think the design came out pretty good for it. Um, I you know, really do uh, think it came out good, and hope you guys all do enjoy it as well. It is our first ever Russian-based uh, aircraft that's a cargo plane, so that's also pretty cool. Uh, so you have that fun little uh, feature for it as well. Uh, but yeah, overall, really nice looking build. I think it came out really good, and hope you guys all enjoy it and are able to add it to any maybe Russian, Ukrainian, or um, other nations around that area type air bases or something like that you guys might be working on. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it. But actually, real quick before we do, I want to go give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Repentless Lamb for making this video possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can go ahead and pledge a small amount uh, to the channel every month and earn a vehicle request you're choosing. It's uh, completely optional, but it is a great way to support the work that I do on my channel and... Um, you know, earn a vehicle request of your choosing for, uh, depending on what tier you just decided to go ahead and subscribe to. So much appreciated and big thank you to Repentless Slam. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into taking a look at this aircraft. Obviously, we have both the in-flight and landed versions here. Um, so obviously the landed version here, pretty straightforward. Got the landing gear uh, deployed on it and uh, it's overall really nice looking design. Uh, we have the... Um, main aircraft itself so we have the cockpit it also has the small navigation window here on the bottom i'm not 100 sure what it's for if i remember correctly it's for navigation but still a little weird um kind of makes it look like it's a bomber but it has no uh it never been used as a bomber so kind of weird in that sense uh but yeah the cockpit front area here all the detailing here on the side little various doors and hatches and stuff like that alongside the aircraft we get into the wings here again pretty straightforward just some you know, standard wings out to the sides here. Again, came out really nice, really happy with the uh, smoothness of the wings, and we also have the turbofan engines there. Um, all the detail here around the top, so getting real straightforward stuff, not too crazy. As you work our way back to the tail, we have um, obviously the vertical stabilizer all detailed with all the different, um, you know, flaps or all that kind of stuff, the rudder and all that. We got the horizontal stabilizers here as well, and looking real nice but uh, yeah I think the aircraft has a really nice shape to it I think it came out really good um, this version here is specifically the Aleutian IL-76 MD so it's one of the more recent updated versions but not the newest um, it still does have the tail gun equipped on the back here even though it is uh, not really used anymore um, as you can imagine having a tail gun doesn't really make much sense but yeah, anyways, a really nice looking aircraft. I think it came out really good and hope you guys do enjoy it and are able to put it on your world and have fun with it. But anyways, let's go and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer. We'll be going ahead and starting with layer number one for the build. Now, before we go ahead and dive into it, I want to go ahead and mention a few things. If you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to structure these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is I'll be building basically half the aircraft on camera and then the inner half 
will be built off camera. This helps speed up the tutorial process a little bit and the aircraft is pretty much exactly the same on both sides so whatever we do on the one side will be done to the other side so don't really worry about that if you get lost at all then whatever we do on the one side you're just going to copy over the other side it's pretty straightforward once you do the first few layers it's going to make a little bit more sense um also uh if you do want to build this landed we will be modifying the aircraft at the end to be in the landed configuration so to make sure that you have this correctly set up for success when it comes down to that you want to make sure that we have this built the right height off the ground so if you are planning on building the landed version you're going to want to make sure that these pop slabs are here and the head we have in the front and those are a block and a half from the ground as you can see the black concrete here representing the ground level in this uh yellow block and this this uh, half space right here representing basically the space needed between the ground so these are top slabs here and there's a full block of space uh, below that and very important if you have it too high too low it's obviously not going to sit right on the ground if you go back and add the land make it the land version if you're building it in flight don't even worry about it um you can build it wherever you guys want to in the air and we just to go ahead and get started with we're going to place down three polished anti top slabs followed by three iron trap doors to uh, both sides and also one iron trap door coming off whatever direction you want the front of the aircraft facing we're gonna have our aircraft facing that way so we're gonna place an iron trap door going that way anyways once that's done we're gonna go ahead and go back from this Polish dance at top slab 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26 uh, blocks back. And I'm going to go and double check our count here just to make sure. And yep, 26 blocks back. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone top slab, followed by a stone upside down stair, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, stone blocks, stone upside down stair, and stone top slab on the end there. After that's done, we're going to place down a stone top slab, come off this one to the side, stone upside down stair, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Stone blocks back, stone upside down stair, and stone top slab like that on the end there. After that's done, uh, we're going to then place down a top, stone top slab, come off this stone upside down stair, and then going back from it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13, stone upside down stairs, and a stone top slab. This line right here that we did uh, in the center is our center line, so whatever we did over here on the right side of the center line, you're going to copy the same thing over to the left side. So looking at from above here, we should have a base here that looks something like this, and again, a view from the bottom here should look like that. So again, real straightforward, uh, nothing too complicated here. We can also delete any blocks we used to build our way back as uh, we will not need them for the rest of the tutorial. And just like that, we have layer one done. Pretty simple stuff so far. With that, let's move into our next layer, layer number two. All right guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we'll be going ahead and moving into layer number two. For layer two to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go to this iron trap door in the front here. We're going to place down a polished anti block up from it, followed by a second polished anti block going forward and a polished anti top slab like that on the end. We then want to go back from this second block, one, two, three, and four. So it sticks out one past this polished anti top slab there in the middle. And then we're just going to place down a polished anti top slab, come off that block like that. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and go to the sides here. We're going to place down a polished anti top slab to both sides of this first block here. We're then going to go ahead and take our polished anti full blocks and we're going to place down one, two, three, and four back. From that, we're going to go ahead and then take a polished anti upside down stair and place it down coming off this block right here. And again, you're going to take the same thing we do on the right side here over to the left side, and you'll have this here for the front of the aircraft. Going ahead and moving back, we're going to go ahead and go from the top slab here toward the back of our aircraft. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight blocks. We're going to place down a stone upside down stair with the back of the stair facing toward the rear, and then an iron trap door coming off the stair like so. And that right there is going to be good for that. And then we're going to go from the iron trap door. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks. We're going to place down two iron trap doors, a stone top slab, and then a stone block. From this, we're going to go ahead and go off of these two iron trap doors with two more iron trap doors to the side, followed by a stone top slab and a stone full block. After that, uh, we're going to go and place down an iron trap door, come off this one right here, stone top slab, and a stone upside down there. From this, we're going to take our stone blocks. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17, and 18 stone blocks back. We're going to go ahead and then place down one block over and then a third one so that we have the center point here. And then come off the center block, we're going to place down a stone upside down stair, followed by a stone top slab to the sides here, one and two stone top slabs, and then a stone top slab like that. 
so it should look like this here on the back of the aircraft. After that's done, go into the side. We're going to go ahead and go to this second to last stone block here. We're going to place nine stone top slab to the side here. And we want to go ahead and then take our anti-side walls. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Anti-side walls along the side here, followed by an anti-side or a stone top slab. And then taking our iron trap doors, we're going to go ahead and go to the second anti-side wall from the front. We're going to place down an iron trap door coming off of it, followed by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So in total, you have 8 iron trap doors like that along the side there. And once you have that done, again, take that over to the other side, and you should have something that looks like this here for up above for uh, layer number two complete. With that, we can also go ahead and delete any markings or any lines and stuff like that that we do not need. So let's go ahead and get rid of all of that. And um, that right there, we'll finish off layer number two for the build. Let's move into layer number three. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer. We're going to be going ahead and moving into layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with, we're going to place down a light gray stained glass block on top of this polished anti pop slab. And coming off this light gray stained glass block, we're going to place down an upside down narrow brick stair going off of it toward the front. Behind this uh, glass block, we're going to place down a black concrete block. And then we want to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28 stone blocks going back along this section here. Going toward the tail here, uh, we're going to go ahead and find our center point. So it's going to be right here, coming off this stone top side right here. We're going to go ahead and go up from it, place down a stone block, uh, followed by two, three, four. So you have four stone blocks, stone upside down stair, and then three stone top slabs going back like that. And that right there is going to complete your center line of the aircraft. Going ahead and going back up to the nose of our aircraft, we're going to go and start working our way out to the side. We're going to place down an brick top slab out to the side like so, followed by a row of three of polished anti full blocks, so one, two, and three. We then want to take our stone blocks, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, and twenty seven stone blocks. So it ends right here on top of the side iron trap door. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front here. We're going to go ahead and go off the polished anti block here. We're going to place down an anti wall, followed by a second anti wall back. And we then want to go ahead and place down a row of two of upside down stone stairs like so. After that, uh, we're going to go and take our iron, uh, our iron top, or our stone top slabs. And we're going to go and run this along the row here. So we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22 stone, or uh, 21 stone top slabs back, and then a stone upside down stair when you get to this point. And then after that stone upside down stair, we're just going to place down a stone full block, and then a second stone full block directly after it. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to our last stone top slab here. We're going to place down an iron trap door to the side, followed by a stone top slab going back from it. And we will want to go ahead and then place down an additional two stone top slabs back. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. And uh, yeah, 21 stone full blocks back, a stone upside down stair, and a stone top slab like that on the end there with an iron trap door coming off of it like so. Alright guys, so I did make a simple mistake here. This area is actually going to be a little bit different. So what we're going to do here is where the iron trap door is, we're actually going to put down a stone upside down stair, and then we're going to go and place down a stone top slab coming off the side of the stair. We then want to delete this top slab and stair, and in its place we're going to place down two stone blocks. So I do apologize for that, just going to make that quick, uh, quick little change there and you'll be good to go. Anyways, moving back up to the front here, we're going to go to this stone top slab. We're going to place down an iron trap door, followed by one and two stone top slabs coming off of it, a stone upside down stair, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 stone full blocks back, and then we want to do one, two, and three stone top slabs after that, like that. Um, or sorry, my bad, it's going to be, we're going to continue our stone top slabs. So in total, we have... 15, we're going to go and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're going to place down 4 more like that. And we're going to go then place down a stone upside down stair, stone top slab, and then an iron trap door right there in that corner space. After that's done, go ahead and move back up to the front here. We're going to go off of this stone upside down stair. We're going to place down a stone top slab, followed by a second top slab, 
stone upside down stair, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13, stone full blocks back, followed by 1, 2, and 3, stone top slabs. After that, uh, again, going out to the side here, we want to go and take our stone top slabs, and we're going to go off of the stone upside down stair here, we're going to place down top slab coming off of it, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, back, so you give yourself a total of 12 for this row here. After that, uh, we want to go and then go to the inside here. We're going to go and place down a stone block right here, followed by what will be one, two, three more back, like so. And then we want to go and place down a row of five stone top slabs. So one, two, three, four, and five. After that, we're going to go and go to our next row here. So the row right next to the middle in this space here, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four stone full blocks and then we want to place down one two three and four stone top slabs back like that and once you guys have that all done that will wrap up what we have here for this layer take what we did on the one side copy it over to the other side and this is what you should get from up above for this layer anyways that's it for layer number three with that let's go ahead and move into our next layer layer number four all right guys moving on to our next layer we have layer number four for layer four to go ahead and get started with here we're going to go ahead and place down a light gray uh, stained glass block on top of this narrow brick up sound stair, followed by a narrow brick up side down stair, come off this like stained glass block toward the front there. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and go all the way to the back here, go to our center points, which is this stone top up here. We're going to go up with a stone full block, a second stone full block back, a stone up down stair, and then two stone top slabs coming off like that to go and make the center line here for the aircraft. From now, we can go ahead and start working our way out to the sides. So to start off with, we're going to go to this like stained glass block, place down one block here to the side, and we want to go and place down stone buttons on the two sides of that glass block. After that, we're going to place down a stone block going back to the glass block, followed by a andesite wall, and then we want to do a row of one, two, three, and four stone blocks going back like so. And actually, it's going to be a stone upside down stair and then three stone blocks. After that, uh, we want to go and then place down two polished andesite full blocks with two polished andesite top slabs coming off those full blocks there to the side. Also, on the side of the top slab facing toward the front, we're going to place down a birchwood sign like that on the side of that top slab. From this point here we're going to go and take stone stairs and we're going to run a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen stone upside down stairs back followed by one and two stone full blocks. Now with that out of the way uh, we're going to go and then place down a stone top slab that's going to be coming off of this last stair here so top slab like this and then a stone up down stair after it followed by a row of one two and three stone full blocks back our next row out to the side here is going to be a stone top slab come off this full block followed by a stone up down stair and then one two three and four stone full blocks back after that and once that's all done there we're going to go and then place down a stone slab come off this stone full block and then a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 stone stairs back. After that uh, we're going to then place down a row of 2 of andesite walls followed by 1, 2, 3 uh, stone full blocks and then 2 stone stairs. After those 2 stone stairs we're going to place down 2 andesite walls. On the inside here we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4 stone blocks and then we want to go and then place down a stone upside down stair like so. Coming off the inside here of the stair, we're going to place down a stone full block, followed by one, two, and uh, yeah, two stone blocks back, and then two stone upside down stairs, and then two stone top slabs. So two stone upside down stairs, and then two stone top slabs. And then on the inside here, we're going to place down next to these two stone top slabs, one and two stone full blocks. And we want to go ahead and then place down a row of three of stone top slabs, one, two, three, coming off that stone full block. For our row right here, next to our middle row, we're going to place down one and two stone full blocks, and then one, two, and three stone top slabs back like that. And that right there uh, will pretty much do it here for the base of the aircraft. One thing we're also going to do here is I'm actually going to delete this stone top slab here on these two corners to kind of give a little bit more uh, smoothness to it. So let's go ahead and delete that top slab there on both sides um, in that section there. Anyways, that right there is going to finish up what we have here for this layer. Take again what we did on the right side, flip it over to the left side. Actually, one, one quick thing. Uh, we do actually have the base of the engine that gets started in this, so I almost uh, almost forgot about that. 
Uh, but basically what we want to do is we're going to be building out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 blocks out to the side. So we're going to go ahead and go to this point of the aircraft, this stone block. We're going to go ahead and count uh, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And let me just go ahead and double check our count here. And yep, 20 blocks. And we're going to go and basically get the base here of our engine set up. So this is going to be a real simple base, but uh, you know, it's the start nonetheless. Start off with, we're going to go off this uh, place where block and place down a stone top side. So again, this is 20 blocks away from this point here in the fuselage. We then want to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, and 4. Stone top sides back. And on the last three blocks, we're going to place down iron trap doors to both sides. Um, after that, we want to go ahead and actually extend this by one, so it's going to be five stone top slabs and then four iron trap doors like that to the sides. After that, we're going to place down two more stone top slabs back, a narrow brick top slab, and then a dark oak wood um, trap door on the top portion of the slab like that. And once that's all complete, uh, we can go ahead and then delete any blocks that we may have built out to the sides here and all that stuff as we no longer will need them. And that right there will complete what we have here for layer number four. Anyways, that's it for layer four. Let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number five. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and go to the front of this aircraft. And one thing I want to add also that's optional, if you do want to, to kind of close this space off, make it look a little bit cleaner from the nose, um, we can go ahead and also take black concrete and from the previous layer, place down a row of three across here, and then also a glass block in a spot. So it just kind of fills the space in a little bit more and you kind of don't have just like an empty void you're looking into if you're looking looking at the aircraft for the nose if you don't do an interior for it so just wonderful then there's an option for some of you guys that um do want that ability and we just to go ahead and get started with for this layer we're going to, go and place down a light gray stained glass block on top of this narrow brick up sound stair and then we want to place down a narrow brick up sound stair turn off this light gray stained glass block upside down like that go back from this we can go ahead and place down one and two light gray stained glass blocks and then a black concrete block like that and uh, we'll finish off the nose there in a second. We're going to go, and go to the back here and do our center line on the back. For this, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone block that goes up from this top slab. So a stone block like this, followed by a second stone block, a stone up down stair, and then two stone top slabs. So again, make sure you find your center line here for the aircraft and the tail here and two stone blocks up down stair and two stone top slabs. Anyways, moving again back up to the front, we're going to start working our way toward the sides and back. So come off this narrow brick up down stair, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull followed by another brick up sound stair, and then a light gray stained glass block. We then want to place down a stone button on the side of this light gray stained glass block, and then we're going to go and place down a second light gray stained glass block back, and then a black concrete block on both sides. Again, optional if you don't have a interior you plan on doing. After that, we're going to place down a stone full block, come off the side of this light gray stained glass block, and then one, two, and three stone full blocks back afterward, like so. When that's done, we're going to go ahead and then take our stone full blocks. We're going to go off of this block to the side here. We're going to place down another stone full block, followed by one and two polished anisite blocks. Uh, we also want to go and go to our polished anisite blocks. The first one here, we're going to place down a birchwood sign, and the second one, we're going to place down a dark oakwood button. We then want to place down a row of three of stone blocks, so one, two, three, and actually four. And on our second block here, we're going to place down a end rod coming off of it to the side there. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two of polished anisite blocks, and we're going to go ahead and then place down two dark oak wood buttons on those two polished anisite blocks. After that, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten stone blocks. We're going to go ahead and then go out to the side with a stone block like this, and then one, two, three, and four. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a stone slab on top of this top slab here. And we're going to go and take our stone stairs and we're going to run a row along the side here. So our stone stairs, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 stone stairs back like that. After that, uh, we want to go and then place down a row of three of stone slabs. So 1, 2, 3. And we're going to go and then take our iron trap doors and we're going to place down a iron trap door on the end here like so. On the inside here of these three slabs, we're going to place down one, two, three stone full blocks, followed by an additional stone blocks, even row four. 
and we want to go ahead and then place down three stone stairs. So one, two, three. And then we're going to place down two half slabs. One, two, with two iron trap doors on the end there. On the inside here of the half slabs and trap doors, we're going to place down four stone blocks like that going across here. And we're going to go ahead and continue this row with five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen blocks back. And we're going to go ahead and actually swap out the 14th block, so it's going to be 13 more blocks back, but we're going to swap this out for a stone upside down stair, followed by a stone top slab. On the inside here, we're going to place down a stone full block, followed by a second full block back, stone upside down stair, and two stone top slabs back like that. Then on the inside here, uh, we're going to place down one and two stone full blocks, a stone upside down stair, and two stone top slabs, so just like we did for the center line right here. And once you have everything wrapped around and both sides complete, this is what the back of the aircraft will look like. And this basically right here is what the fuselage will be like. Anyways, uh, that's it for that. Let's go ahead and move into our engines. So uh, we're going to go ahead and basically start by building up this engine here to the outside. It's pretty straightforward in design, so uh, should be able to build it no problem. Uh, we do need to grab ourselves some stairs, um, some black concrete some nether brick blocks, stone buttons, and you also need your skulls here. So make sure you got those and we'll go ahead and get started for our engine here. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be working on the outer engine. So uh, we're going to be going ahead and getting this one set up and good to go. Uh, we're going to start off by going ahead and getting ourselves some polished nanosite stairs. And we're going to place down a polished nanosite stair going up from this top slab here like this to both sides. And then going back from this, we're going to place down a stone stair. And then from this point, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a black concrete block on both sides of these stone stairs, and then a narrow brick stair facing that direction like so. And then from this, we can go ahead and then place down a, another row of three of black concrete across on both sides of these black concrete blocks. We're going to place down birchwood trapdoors and close them like that. We then want to go ahead and take our stone blocks. We're going to place down a row of three across followed by a second row of three, a third row of three, and a fourth row like that. We're going to go and then take our trapdoors and we're going to place down one and two more birchwood trapdoors on the side here. And make sure that they are kind of facing the same direction so a little latch there is on the bottom on both sides to make sure they're not, they're not all different. Um, after that we're going to go then take our black concrete, we're going to place down a row of three across. And we can also go ahead and then grab ourselves some stone buttons and we're going to place down a stone button on the side of the black concrete block and also on the bottom. Same thing over here, like that. Um, after that's done, we're going to then place down another black concrete block here in the middle. Another brick up sound stair, two both sides. And then from this, we're going to place down a, another black concrete block in the middle here, with our skeleton skull, two both sides. And we want to go ahead and then place down a, another brick top slab. Come off the back here, followed by a skeleton skull into both sides of this top slab. We will be placing down a dark open sign. So just like that to both sides. And once you have that done and transferred over the other side, you're going to basically have uh, your uh, outer engines complete and we can go ahead and then move on to our inner engines. Now the inner engines here are basically the same thing we did in the previous layer. So um, these ones are going to be built off a little different from the fuse side of the fuselage. So we're going to go ahead and count out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So give me 9 blocks out from the side here. Um, it's going to be the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and our 7th stone block back from the two polished nanosite blocks. So again, our 7th block. And we're going to count out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 blocks. Now when we get to this point, uh, we're going to go ahead and basically do the same exact thing we did for our engine in the previous layer. So really straightforward. Uh, we're going to place down a polished nanosite top slab, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stone top slabs. And on the last four, we're going to place down iron trap doors. We then want to place down two stone top slabs back, a narrow brick top slab, and then a dark oak wood trap door. And that right there will basically do it there for the base of the engine. And we can go and then delete uh, all of our blocks here that we placed. And we have our two engines set up, basically the one on the outside here and inside. And we're going to start building those up in the next few layers. Anyways, that's it right there for layer number uh, five of the build. With that, let's go ahead and move into layer number six.
I guess moving into our next layer, we have layer number six. For layer six, to go ahead and get started with here, we're gonna place down a stone block on top of this stone up downstair, or sorry, this snow brick up downstair, and then we're gonna place down a stone up downstair coming off that uh, stone full block. We're gonna go ahead and place down a row three of light gray stained glass blocks going back from the stone block, and then a black concrete block here, uh, like this on the back. Once that's done, go ahead and go into the tail section to go ahead and get our center line done. We're going to go, and go to the center block, go up from it, place down two stone top slabs, and then two stone top slabs. And that right there will finish that off on the back there. Alright guys, going ahead and moving up to our front here now. We're going to go to the sides. We're going to place down a stone upside down stair trap to set to the stone full block. And then we're going to place down a quartz upside down stair after it. We then want to place down a row of one and two, like we're staying with full blocks, followed by a black concrete block like that on the ends. We're going to go ahead and then come up those two light gray stainless blocks, placing down two more light gray stainless blocks out to the side, followed by two stone buttons on the side, and one uh, stone button on this side, like that. After that, we're going to take our quartz blocks and place down one and two, smooth quartz blocks back. We then want to go ahead and go out to the side, place down another smooth quartz block, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven smooth quartz blocks along the side here. We're going to go ahead and go to our fourth uh, quartz block, we're going to place down a quart quartz top sub here. And then we want to place down a skeleton skull on both sides of this quartz top slab. After that, uh, we're going to go ahead and go to our second to last quartz, uh, full, smooth quartz full block. We're going to place down a quartz uh, top slab like that. Or sorry, iron trap door. And then we're going to place down a quartz top slab right after it. We then want to place down two polished diorite upside down stairs. And then coming off the top slab and the that right stair, we're going to go and place down two trapdoors, or two birchwood um, signs like that. After that, we're going to take our smooth quartz, and we're going to be placing down a long row toward the back here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab our smooth quartz full blocks, and we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, uh, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, and 44. Um, actually, we're going to go ahead and stop three less, so we're going to do 41, and then three upside down stairs. So, one, two, three, and then a smooth quartz top slab, and then a iron trap door. Now on the inside here of the top slab and iron trap door, we're going to place down two smooth quartz blocks back, followed by an additional one like that toward the rear. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six stone blocks back, followed by a stone top slab here. And on the inside, we're going to place down a stone block and go back one, two, uh, three, four, and then we want to go ahead and place down two stone top slabs like that. On the inside here, next to this uh, middle row, we're going to do the same thing. So two stone blocks and two stone top slabs back like that. That right there is going to do it for the fuselage, and let's go ahead and move into our engines. So just like we did for the previous ones, we're going to go ahead and basically build the inner ones up just like the outer ones. So we're going to place down the polished inside stair here to both sides. We will then want to go ahead and go back from this, placing down a stone stair to both sides. And then we're going to take our black concrete an air brick stair. We're going to place down a black concrete block here in the middle, uh, or sorry, to the sides. A air brick stair like this in the middle, and then one, two, three, black concrete blocks across. We're going to then do four rows of three of stone, like that. And then a row of three of black concrete, black concrete, concrete block in the middle, followed by another brick upside down stair to both sides, a black concrete block going back, and we then want to place down a wither skeleton skull on both sides of this black concrete block followed by a another brick top slab on the end here and on the very tip here we're going to place down a skeleton skull with dark oak wood signs on both sides of the another brick top slab so just like that and also the last thing is to take our birchwood trapdoors and on these four blocks we're going to place down birchwood trapdoors and just like that that will be it for the inner engine so again just like we did for the outer ones um, if I went a little too fast for you. Um, so anyways, once that's done, uh, we do have our outer engines now we're going to work on. So for this, we're going to start off by going ahead and going to these black concrete blocks. We're going to place down an air brick stair like this, and then a upside down one uh, 
facing this direction. So something kind of like that. And we want to go ahead and then place down a row of black uh, concrete right behind them. From this, we want to go ahead and then take our polished anisite. We're going to place down one and two polished anisite full blocks going forward, and then a skeleton skull there on the tip. With that out of the way, uh, we can go ahead and also grab ourselves some stone brick walls and some andesite walls. Uh, we're also going to need nether brick walls, some dark oak wood trap doors, and also a stone button. So for this to go ahead and get started with here, uh, we want to go ahead and take our stone brick walls. We're going to go ahead and go up and out to the side from the polished andesite walls. And we're going to then go back one, two, and three, and set walls, one, two, and three for the time being. We're then going to take our stone box, and we're going to do another row of four across, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And, of course, and set walls all the way along the side here. We then want to take our black concrete, we're going to place down a row of three across, followed by another brick wall, two both sides. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then do a row of three of black concrete again. This time with a dark oak with trapdoor, two both sides. We're then going to place down a another brick wall here to both sides, and or sorry, a black concrete block to both sides, and then a another brick wall to both sides. And then we can just place down a stone button there on the center like that for the uh, rear of the turbofan engine. And once you have that done, you're pretty much good to go with that. Uh, we can also go ahead and go to the black concrete blocks over here and also add the stone buttons if you haven't already to our inner engines. And anyways you're going to take that design flip it over to the other side and once you do you have both your engines pretty much set up and good to go. And that right there will complete what we have here for layer number 6 of the build. With that let's move into our next layer, layer number 7. Alright guys so real quick before we move into layer 7 one thing I want to add for layer number 6 is that for our outer engines we want to go ahead and throw in some birchwood uh, trapdoors here. On the inside here are these walls just to kind of close it off a little bit make it so we don't have these kind of glaring spaces left open um but yeah we just want to add those to the outer engines like that to both sides and you're pretty pretty much good to go anyways now moving into layer number seven to go ahead and get started we're going to go ahead and go to the nose of the aircraft on top of the up center on the stair we're going to place down the inner stair on top of it going back from that stair we're going to place down a uh, stone block followed by one two three and four black concrete blocks after that, uh, we want to go ahead and then go to the sides of this stone block. We're going to place down a stone stair, followed by one and two blue concrete blocks, and then we're going to place down one and two black concrete blocks like that. After that, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a prismarine brick stair, place it down to the side of this blue concrete block, and then we're going to place down one, two, and three blue concrete blocks back from it. Um, we're going to go ahead and then go back to the rear of the aircraft real quick, and uh, we're going to go, ahead and go to our center line here. We're going to go up from this top slab, place down a stone block, stone up, down, stair, and stone top slab. So, just like that for the center there on the rear of the aircraft. Anyways, uh, moving back up to the front here, we're going to go and start working our way out to the sides. So, we're going to go to this quartz block here. We're going to place down a blue concrete block on top of it, followed by one, two, three, four, and five back. From this point here, we're going to go ahead and then place down a prismarine. Uh, brick stair upside down and then two blue concrete blocks back we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves blue wool we're to place down two blue wool blocks followed by a birchwood sign on the first one and then a dark oakwood button on the second block we're then going to pick our blue concrete we're going to place down one two three and four blue concrete blocks back followed by another blue wool block and this is going to have a uh, dark oakwood button on it like so and we want to go and then go back one two three blue concrete blocks and then one two three blue wool blocks and we're going to leave those two blue wool blocks with nothing on them uh, after that we're going to take our blue concrete we're going to go, and go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty two one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty three one three two three 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 four and thirty five blue concrete blocks back so we end on top of this trap trap door and we then want to place down a upside down prismarine brick stair like that going back and then a blue concrete block on the inside here from this we're going to take our smooth quartz we're going to place down one two three and four smooth quartz blocks back we're going to switch to stone and we're going to place down four stone blocks back so one two three four we then want to place down a stone top slab like that on the end on the inside here we're going to place down a stone full block next to that top slab, followed by one, two, three, and four 
stone full blocks back actually five so make this row pull out six and then a stone top slab here on the end after that on this uh, stone full block here stone top slab going back and then or sorry stone full block going back and then a stone top slab cut off the full block so just like that for the rear of the aircraft and that right there will complete the fuselage for this layer again this is what it should look like from up above here and that right there is it for the fuselage. So going ahead and moving into our engines. So for our inner engines, we're going to go and do basically the same exact thing we did for these outer ones. So we're going to place down a stone brick wall going up from these polished inside stairs out to the side and the inside wall back from them. We also want to go ahead and place down birchwood trapdoors on both sides here like that. And then uh, we're going to go and place down a, another brick upside down stair. So like this, and then another brick stair facing this direction, like so. In the middle space, we're going to place down a black concrete block, and then we want to go off, or sorry, a polished anti block. And then we're going to go off the polished anti block with an additional block, like so. And then our skeleton tool here on the tip, like that. After that, uh, we're going to place down a row three of black concrete across. We then want to take our stone blocks and we're going to do one, two, three, four, or sorry, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, so you have a total of four. And we're going to go then take our anti walls and run along the side here. All the way back, same thing over here. We then want to take our black concrete, we're going to place down a row of three across, followed by a wither skeleton skull on both sides, another row of three across the middle here, dark with trap door again to both sides. And we want to go ahead and place down a narrow black concrete block to both sides with a narrow brick wall. Turn off those two walls. Or turn off those two blocks. And then a stone button there in the middle. And that right there is going to finish off our inner engines. For our uh, outer ones, it's going to basically be what we did here for this layer right here. Basically just above it. So we're going to place down upside down stair of polished hands down coming off these two stone brick walls like that toward the inside. We then want to go ahead and place down a stone stair going back from upside down as well. So like that to both sides and then we're in the middle space here a another brick stair which is going to be facing this direction like so or it should actually be upside down I believe that away. So something kind of like that maybe like this. I don't know, sometimes these are kind of confusing to place, but yeah, you're going to have a narrative break up down stair there, followed by a black concrete block to both sides like that. After that, we're going to place down a narrow row of three of black concrete across, followed by four rows of three of stone, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three and one, two, three. And then to the side of the black concrete blocks and these first two stone blocks are placed down our trap doors again. And then on the back here, our black concrete, we're going to place down a row of three across. Stone buttons on the side of the block and the top of this one. Same thing over here. And we want to go and then place down a narrow brick stair going back from the black concrete blocks. Black concrete block in the middle between the two narrow brick stairs. And we want to go and then place down a narrow black concrete block here in the middle. With a skeleton skull to both sides. And uh, the top of the engine as well, we're going to do basically the same thing. So a narrow brick slab. Skeleton skull and a dark oak wood sign here to both sides of that slab, like so. And with that all complete, that is going to wrap up what we have there for our outer engines and our inner engines, and that will complete uh, all together what we have for layer number uh, seven of the build. With that, let's go ahead and move into layer number eight. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number eight. For layer eight, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go to the uh, from the aircraft, we're going to place down a stone slab on top of the stone full block and followed by a black concrete block back from it. Once that's done, we're going to go to the tail and do our center line on the tail as well. We're going to do a stone full block up from this top slab, stone up down there, and a stone top slab like that to go and finish it off. With that done, uh, going ahead and moving up to the front here again, uh, we're going to go to the side of this black concrete block and place down an air brick block, and then going back from it, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four black concrete blocks back like that. After that, coming off the second black concrete block, we're going to place down a narrow black concrete block to the side, and we want to go ahead and then place down two quartz slabs. After that, uh, we're going to go ahead and go up from the quartz slab with a quartz top slab, and then we're going to place down two blue concrete blocks back. 
We're also going to place down a blue concrete block on the inside here of this top slab, and we also want to place down a blue concrete block in this space below the top slab, like so. And you should get a shape of something kind of like that. Once uh, that's finished there, we're going to go and then place down a row of two of quartz top slabs here to the side, come off these two blue concrete blocks, and then we want to go ahead and take our blue concrete and place down one, two, and three back like that. We're going to go and then place down a prismarine brick stair on top of this brick stair like so, and then we're going to place down one and two blue concrete blocks back. After that, we're going to place down two blue wool blocks, followed by a row of two dark oak wood buttons. After that, uh, we're going to place down a row of three of blue concrete blocks across, blue wool block, dark oak wood button, and then we're going to place down a row of three of blue concrete again, blue wool block, light gray stained glass block, and a blue wool block, just like that. Uh, continue now, we're going to take our blue concrete, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 34 and 35. Blue concrete blocks back, uh, and the on top is prismarine upside down stair. And then we want to place down 1, 2, 3, and 4 blue concrete blocks along the side there like so. We're going to go ahead and then place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Quartz full blocks back. And we want to go ahead and then go over to the inside here. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Quartz full blocks again. From this we're going to place down a row of 1 and 2. Stone full blocks. And a stone top slab. We then want to go ahead and go to the side of the top slab. Place down a stone block. Followed by the second stone block, and then one and two stone top slabs back like that. And that right there will basically do it for a fuselage and all that fun stuff, and that's what it should basically look like. Moving into our engines for our engines right here, we're gonna basically be doing the same thing we did for these ones. So we're gonna start off by placing down our polished inside upside down stairs here, two both sides, a stone upside down stair next to those. After that, uh, we want to go and then place down a nether brick uh, upside down stair with the side facing toward the outside, so like that. And we're going to go then take our black concrete, place down a black concrete block to both sides of it, row three across. And then we want to take our stone blocks, place down four rows of three. Like this. And then we're going to take our birchwood trap doors, place down a row of four, close them. Same thing over here. And with that out of the way, uh, we can go ahead and now focus our attention to the back here. Row 3 of black concrete, stone buttons here on those two blocks. And then a black concrete block here in the middle. Narrow brick stair to both sides. And then we want to go and then place down a narrow black concrete block in the middle. Followed by a narrow brick slab back. A skeleton skull. And a dark oak with sign to both sides of the or the narrow brick slab, and then we want to place down a wither skeleton skull. Come off both sides of that black concrete block. And with that out of the way, that is going to complete our inner engines, and then we can move to our outer ones. So for our outer ones here, real simple, we're going to go and basically start to build the pylon that the uh, aircraft kind of attaches to, or the uh, engines attach to. So really straightforward for this, uh, we're going to go and place down a polished inside slab over the space here, followed by a second slab back and then two polished inside full blocks followed by a row of one two three four five six seven eight and nine stone full blocks back and then one and two stone top slabs like that and right there is going to create the pylon like that and we want to go then place down three iron trap doors or sorry four iron trap doors on the sides there just like that and that right there is going to complete what we have here for layer number eight. Take what we did on the other side and copy, or co take what we did on the one side, copy it over the other side, and you guys will be pretty much good to go. Anyways, that's it for layer eight. Let's go ahead and move into layer number nine. All right, guys, go ahead and move into our next layer. We have layer number nine. For layer nine, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go to the front of the aircraft here. We're going to go up to this uh, space right here. We're going to place down a narrow brick slab, followed by a black concrete block, and then we want to place down a row of one, two, three and four like gray stained glass blocks back from it. Now uh, at the end here also we can close out the cockpit as well by placing another black concrete block and you can also fill this space in underneath here with black concrete again to kind of create a more kind of solid look underneath the aircraft if you do want to um, but it's kind of up to you guys and what you guys want to do here but again an Arabic slab 
like concrete block for uh, like race stainless blocks back and then a black concrete block there in the end that's optional um, anyways for the tail here uh, we're gonna go ahead and place down a stone full block that goes up from this one stone upside down stair stone top slab polished nail site top slab dark oak wood fence gate like that on the end and we can go ahead and go to the front and start working our way out to these sides here so to go ahead and get started with this we're going to go to the side of the air brick slab we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door followed by another brick stair back a black concrete block and one two three like gray stainless blocks followed by a narrow black concrete block after that we're going to go into the sides here again we're going to place down one two three narrow brick slabs and then a quartz slab like that followed by a quartz full block come off the quartz full block we're going to go ahead and place down a quartz slab after that's uh, done there we're going to take our quartz full blocks we're going to go one two three four and five quartz full blocks back and then we're going to place down a quartz slab come off this block with a iron trap door like that coming off the quartz slab after the quartz slab we're going to place down a row of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten quartz stairs and then we're going to place down one two three die right stairs and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three and twenty four Quartz stairs, and then we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 quartz full blocks, and then a quartz stair like that on the end. On the inside here, the quartz stair, we're going to place down a quartz full block, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Blue concrete blocks back, a prismarine upside down stair, blue concrete block there, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 quartz full blocks. I'm going to go in the inside here, place down a quartz full block like so, followed by two stone blocks, a stone top slab, a inside wall, a dark oak wood sign on the side of the inside wall, and then a skeleton skull back, and then a dark oak wood sign on the side of the fence gate. And that right there will complete your fuselage here for the slayer. So again, take what we did on the one side, over to the other. Anyways, go ahead and now focus our attention to the engines. Uh, just like we've been doing, we're going to go into our inner engines first. They're going to be basically doing the same thing. So, starting off with, we're going to place down two stone slabs like that in this space here. And we want to go and then take our polished anisite blocks and place down two polished anisite blocks, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine stone full blocks back, and then two stone top slabs back after that. Once uh, that's done, we're going to also grab our iron trap doors and we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, iron trap doors like so. We then want to go to our outer engines and we're going to continue building these up. So we're going to go up to this stone block and place down two polished anisite slabs, two polished anisite full blocks, and then we're going to go and place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, and nine st stone full blocks back, and then we're going to place down two stone top slabs and then a row of two of iron trap doors there on the back, just like that. And then we'll do it there for the pylons for the outer engines. With that all done, we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves some blocks, or some placeholder blocks, or ones that we can use to count. And we want to go ahead and go to this stone tops up here. We're going to count one, two, three, four, five over. We're going to do the same thing over here. Go to this stone top slab, one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to place down one, two, and three iron trap doors going forward. We can then delete those placeholder blocks as we do not need them anymore and then we want to go ahead and go to the same stone top slab and go one two three to the other side so we then want to go over to this side and we're going to go to the stone top slab count one two three out to the side followed by an iron trap door second one back and then three stone top slabs back and this is going to be actually four so we're going to do four stone top slabs so two iron trap doors and four stone top slabs back after that's done, we're going to go ahead and then go to the second iron trap door. We're going to count it to the side. One, two, three. So just like that, out to the side. And same thing over here. One, two, three. We're going to place down two iron trap doors. A total of four stone top slabs back. And then an iron trap door there on the end. And that'll be for your next pylon. And then our next pylon after that is going to be another three over. So we're going to go ahead and go to this iron trap door, one, two, three over, 
two iron trapdoors, four stone top slabs, and then an iron trapdoor on the end there. Now with that all done, we're going to go and start working on the very tip of our wing. So for this, we want to go and go off this stone top slab here. We're going to go and go over one stone top slab, and we want to go and then go back one and two. From this toward the front, we're going to go one stone top slab forward, a polished anside top slab, followed by a second polished anside top slab. We're going to go in at indent, two stone top slabs, or two polished anside top slabs, and our indent, two stone top slabs, or two polished anside top slabs, and again, two polished anside top slabs. So you can see we have a diagonal row just like that. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves brick slabs. We're going to place down a brick top slab back like this and also a second brick top slab like that and then going back from this brick top slab on the tip here we're going to place down one two and three more so you have a row of four and then this row here is going to be a row of five we then want to take our stone top slabs go into the second to last brick top slab here we're going to place down one two three and four stone top slabs over we then want to go ahead and go toward the front here place down a row of three and we're going to go ahead and then do one and one just like that so we should connect up and we should have a shape that looks just like this here for the edge of the wing. And all that's left for us to do now is to go ahead and then take our stone top slabs and just go ahead and fill in the space nice and solid like so. And that right there will complete what we have here for the tip of the wing. And with that, we'll complete this layer. You can go ahead and delete any markers or anything like that that we used to space out our pylons or anything like that. And once you have it transferred over to the other side, you guys will be good to go for layer number nine. Anyways, as you can see, we're starting to get more shape going. We're starting to get into the wings and stuff. So the next few layers are going to be kind of long with uh, working on the wings and stuff as they are kind of difficult. Uh, but other than that, let's go and move into our next layer, layer number 10. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 10. Layer 10, we're going to go ahead and start to get into pretty much the uh, main portion of the wing, which we'll be building. And um, yeah, so it's probably going to be our longest layer i would say probably for the builder or at least one of them uh anyways let's go ahead and get started the first thing we want to do is we want to go and go to the front here on top of this light gray stainless block here and place down a light gray stainless block followed by one two three back so you have a row of four there and then a black concrete block on the end here for our row down the center in the back here we're going to go ahead and uh just place down a polished anside up down stair on top of this dark oak wood fence gate and then right there we'll finish the back up Anyways, moving back up to the front, we're going to go and start working our way out to the side. We're going to then place down a light gray stainless pane, come out the side of this light gray stainless block, followed by one, two, and three light gray stainless blocks back, and then a black concrete block like so. After that, uh, we're going to then place down a light gray stainless block, come off this uh, block here to the side, and then one and two light gray stainless blocks back. And then um, after that, we want to go and then place down a row of one, two, and three quartz full blocks back. After that, come off the third quartz full block, we're going to place down a quartz slab, followed by a quartz stair, and then one, two, and a uh, long row of quartz blocks. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, and let me go and get a count 43 uh, quartz blocks after that stair. We then want to place down a row of three of diorite uh, blocks like that. And then we're going to continue off for quartz full blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 quartz full blocks back. And then a quartz stair. After that, uh, we want to go and then go to the east side here. We're going to place down a iron trap door here. Followed by 1, 2, 3, and 4 quartz slabs forward and then one two three iron trap doors going to the back here or continuing on toward the back we're going to place down a quartz full block like so followed by one two three four five six and seven blue concrete blocks a prismarine uh upside down stair blue concrete block and then we're going to place down one two three and four quartz full blocks a polished anti block a nether brick top slab and then two end rods come off that narrow brick top slab like that for the rear machine uh, guns and that right there will complete the fuselage for this layer and that's what it should look like from up above so far and now we're going to go and start working on the wings so to go ahead and get started for the wings here we're going to go and work on our pylons here 
for this pile on here, we're going to go do the same thing we did over there. So two uh, polished andesite slabs, two polished andesite full blocks, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stone top slabs back, or stone full blocks, and then two stone top slabs, followed by, uh, we're just going to leave at two stone top slabs. And after those two stone top slabs, we're going to extend it two more stone top slabs, so one, two. And then we want to place down a row of what is going to be one, two, three, four, and five stone full blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, and one into stone top slab. So just like that for that row right there. Um, after that's done, we're going to go ahead and basically start uh, our wing. So it's going to be a little complicated, so make sure to pay close attention at what we're doing, and uh, we'll uh, we'll get through it. But uh, yeah, the best thing for us to go ahead and do to go ahead and get started with here is we're going to be going ahead and taking our stone top slabs and we're going to go to this location here. Now we want to go ahead and start off by going to the stone full block right here, the pile like next up to. So we're going to place down a stone top slab to the side here and then we want to go ahead and go back a total of six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the second block from the front and we're going to place down one, two, three stone top slabs. After that, we're going to go ahead and come off of this stone full block. We're going to place down a row of two of stone top slabs to the side here. We then want to grab our polished andesite slabs. We're going to place down a polished andesite top slab. We're going to go, ahead and go in stone top slab, followed by two polished andesite top slabs, uh, one polished andesite top slab, two, and two again just like that. Now we want to go and also continue the pylon for this engine. So we're going to place down two stone or polished anti slabs followed by two polished anti full blocks and an air polished anti full block located in this spot right here. And then from this we're going to go and take our stone blocks. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stone full blocks back. And we then want to go ahead and place down one more additional one that sticks out past. So nine and then a stone top slab come off of it like so so that's what you should look at there for that engine and then from this uh we want to go ahead and continue the front here we're going to go ahead and take our uh polished and say we're going to be we're going to go ahead and actually leave it at that for right now now with that done we're going to go to the back here and work our way over from the back so for this we're going to go ahead and need to grab ourselves some stone brick slabs we're going to start off by going ahead and going to the second stone block here, we're going to place down a polished andesite top slab coming off of it. We then want to place down a stone block, block forward of it, or stone brick top slab forward of it. We're going to do the same thing again, so polished andesite top slab, stone brick top slab, then one, two polished andesite top slabs, one, two, three stone brick top slabs. Uh, we then get to this point, so we have this iron trap door uh, section here. And for this, real simply, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a row of three of stone blocks across on top of it, one block going toward the front, and then we're going to place down one, two, and three going toward the back of a stone top slab on the end here for this, these pylons. Um, after that, we're going to go ahead and then take our stone brick top slabs, or we're going to take our stone top slabs, and we want to go ahead and go to this stone block, so the forefront from the front. We're going to place down two stone top slabs and then we're going to place down one two stone top slabs and then one just like that and once we have that done we can go ahead and then take the space in here for the wing and we can go ahead and completely fill this in with stone top slabs so all the remaining space will be filled in with stone top slabs so i'm going to go and do this real quick off camera and i'll see you guys here shortly once i have it all filled in all right guys go ahead and continue on for the wings we're going to go ahead and go to this point here and we want to go ahead and basically continue building out to the side from it so going to this stone block right here, we're going to place down a stone brick full block, followed by one and two polished anti top slabs. We then want to place down a stone brick full block in this space, polished anti top slab, stone brick full block, and a uh, polished anti top slab with a second one coming off of it like so. Now once we get to this point, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a row of three of stone brick full blocks going across here and then a stone slab here on the end just like that and uh, that'll be for uh, our pylon there on the outside 
Now when we get to this point, uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone brick full block coming off this one, and then a polished anstack top slab. And then from this point here, we're going to go and switch to a polished anstack full block, polished anstack half slab, polished anstack full block, polished anstack half slab, and then stone brick blocks behind them like so. We get this section here, we're going to place a stone brick block, followed by a polished anstack slab, and then we can go ahead and place down a stone pressure plate on top of that iron trap door, just like that. And then getting out to the side here, stone brick full block, and a stone brick slab back, just like that. Uh, after that, we're going to go ahead and take our uh, stone blocks. We're going to go ahead and go over from the stone brick block. We're going to go ahead and go one and two stone blocks over, one stone block, one, two going forward. And then we're going to go ahead and wrap this around with a polished andesite stair. So just like this. And then we want to go ahead and place down a stone full block. Also next to this polished andesite stair to the other side, we're going to place down a polished andesite slab. Um, next to this stone full block, we're going to place down a polished andesite slab, followed by a polished andesite stair. And we then want to go ahead and place down a polished andesite full block, a second full block going forward, and another full block like that. And then these full blocks here are going to just they're going to basically stop at that point. So we're actually going to switch these two full blocks here to top slabs. <clears throat> Just like that. And after these two top slabs, we want to go ahead and place down a row of three. So one, two, three. And then we're going to go forward from this one, and then three again. And then forward to this one, and three again. So we should connect up at that point right there on the wings. Now from this point here, uh, all the remaining space in here can be filled in with stone full blocks. So again, real quick, I'll give you an overview again of what this looks like. So that's what our outline looks like for our full blocks, and we can just go ahead and completely fill this in with our stone full blocks. So just like this, and you have it all completely filled in for this space, and you're good to go. So with that all filled in, uh, we can go and then now do our slab outline for this section. So for our slabs here, we're going to go from this section, we're going to place down there an additional one, two, three, and four stone brick slabs over, and we're going to take our polished anside slabs and do one, two, three, four. We also want to go and place down a pressure stone pressure plate on top of this iron trap door. Now once that's done, we're going to go from this polished anside slab, stone brick slab, and then one back, and then we're going to go and place a stone slab over. We're going to go and then place down one, two stone slabs, one, two, one, two, and then we want to place down a uh, stone or another row of two of stone slabs. And then after these two stone slabs, we're just going to place down another two stone slabs like that, and then coming off these two stone slabs, we're going to place down two polished andesite slabs like that. And the remaining space in here, we can just go and take stone slabs and fill it in like so to create a nice. Um, filled in surface like so. And basically your wing should look something like this for this layer. As you can see, looking at it from above, this is what it should look like all complete. And I'll give you a view also from the bottom of it. But yeah, pretty straightforward uh, stuff. A little bit complicated. Wings are always a little tricky and sometimes uh, with these builds, but uh, I think it definitely came out pretty good. And uh, that's it for layer number 10 of the build. With that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number eight, or er, 11 cheese. All right guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number 11. For layer 11, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go to the uh, front of the carpet here. We're going to place down an Arabic slab on top of this block here, and then the quartz full block directly behind it. Going ahead and moving to the back, the inner center line bolts. We're going to go ahead and very simply just place down a polished anside block on top of this one right here. And then we're going to have a polished anside stair coming off of it like that, or basically a polished anside stair on top of the stair, it's like that. So, really straightforward stuff. That's uh, our center line for the aircraft. Anyways, moving on to the sides now, we're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull at a slight angle like this to these sides, followed by an air brick slab back from it, and then a quartz full block. Going on to the sides again, we're going to place down a skeleton skull again at a very slight angle, like so. And we're going to then place down an air brick slab back from it. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down one and two quartz stairs, followed by one, two, three, four, five, 
and six quartz flow blocks and then come up to the last two quartz flow blocks we're gonna place down two quartz slabs and an iron trap door after that uh, we're gonna place down one two three four and five quartz slabs and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen four fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and 33. Quartz slabs back, and then a smooth quartz stair. We're then going to place down a diorite stair, followed by a light gray stained glass block, and then another diorite stair like that. And then uh, we want to go and then place down two quartz stairs, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 quartz full blocks. Go over to the inside here, quartz full block, and also a quartz slab on the side there and we want to go and go one two three four five six seven eight quartz slabs back or quartz full blocks back pull back smooth quartz stair and a quartz block on the inside here of that stair where they're going to place down one two three and four blue concrete blocks back an andesite stair and a skeleton skull on the side of the stair like that and anyways that right there is going to basically finish off the back there and with that that will finish off our fuselage design. I right, guess so going ahead and moving into our wings. Now we're going to start off with our top slabs that are coming off the fuselage as it's just a small section of it that actually does have these top slabs. To begin with we're going to be going ahead and going toward this quartz block right here and this is going to be your one two three four five six seven eight ninth block back so just double check our count and yep it's going to be our ninth block back and you're placed down a polished inside top slab coming off of it. We then want to go ahead and uh, go back from the top slab, we're going to place down a stone top slab. Turn off the stone top slab, we're going to place down two polished anside top slabs, and then two stone top slabs coming off of them. Another two polished anside top slabs, and another two stone top slabs. At this point here, we're going to go ahead and then place down two stone top slabs, two polished anside top slabs behind them, and then we're going to place down one and two stone top slabs over, just like that. And also for our engine pylons here, we're going to place down two polished anti slabs and two polished anti full blocks like that, continuing our engine pylon up to connect up to the wing. Now with that out of the way, um, we're going to go ahead and then focus on the rear ones. So the rear ones here, we're going to go ahead and take a stone brick top slab and we're going to place it down, come off this quartz block. Now this is your, from this section here, we're going to go for, from the stone top side, we're going to count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 spots. So double check our count here. And yep, uh, 12 spots like that going back. And then we're going to place down a stone brick top slab. So space of 12 again between this stone top slab and this stone brick top slab. We then want to place down two polished anti top slabs back. From this point, uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, five and six stone brick top slabs across like so and then we're gonna go ahead and go from this actually sorry it's gonna be a row of it's gonna be a row of three of stone top slabs and then a row of three of stone brick full blocks we then want to go and uh, place down one two three polished anti blocks come up with three stone brick top slabs and then these are these uh, stone brick top slabs here we're gonna go ahead and go one, two, stone brick top slabs back, followed by one, two, and then one, two, three. So if our polished anisite, and then this outside here, we're going to go one, two, row three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you basically have two rows of two, two rows of three, and two rows of four. Now after that's done, uh, we're going to go and then take our uh, polished anisite. We're going to go ahead and go to a row of four so we're going to go, ahead and go forward one two three and four and we then want to go ahead and take our block here that connects where our pylon is we're going to place that polished anti block followed by an additional one and then a second one and then a stone slab so just like that for this section here and we want to go and then go behind these polished anti top slabs and replace any row of four stone brick full blocks now coming off of these, we're going to go ahead and go 1 and 2, 1 and 2, and 1 and 2. So basically you have three polished anisite top slabs coming off those stone brick top slabs. Once uh, that's done, we're going to go ahead and then go over to the middle one, go 1, 2, and 3. 
Polish Dance like Top Subs over. And actually it's gonna be one more. So one more like this. And this row right here is actually gonna be a row of three again of Polish Dance like Full or Top Subs and then a Stone Break Full Block. And then right here, one place down a Stone Break Full Block, one and two. So row three there. And then come off these, we're gonna go ahead and go back one, two, or three. So just like that, going back to this point. And then when you get to this point here, we're going to have a stone brick full block, a second stone brick full block, then a stone brick slab, like so. And that right there will pretty much finish that off right there. Now one adjustment we need to make on the edge here is that this pylon here is going to be one less, so we're actually going to go and break this stone full block and make that a stone top slab. So that right there will make this pylon fit a lot better into the actual uh, wing itself. But that right there is basically the what we need to do for the top slab section. We're going to now focus on our outline here for our stone full blocks. Now from the stone brick block, we're going to go and then take polished dance site and we're going to place down one and two polished dance site blocks over, followed by a stone brick block. I guess going ahead and continue now, we're going to go and then take our stone blocks. We're going to place down one and two stone blocks, one and then one, two, three going forward. We then want to go ahead and place down a polished andesite block on top of the space here. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a narrow polished andesite block coming off at an angle. After that, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a polished andesite stair. And we're going to come off this full block with a stair, like so. We then want to go ahead and go next to the stair. We're going to place down a polished andesite slab here, followed by a slab right here. And then one and two polished andesite slabs like that. Going ahead and continuing along the side here, we're going to place down a polished andesite full block, slab coming off toward the front, polished andesite full block, and then a uh, angle here, near polished andesite full block like so. Going to go over an angle again, place down a row of two, or sorry, a row of three of polished andesite. We're going to go and then go off the third one, polished andesite full block, one over, and then again over the side, and we're going to place down two like that. So we should get something that kind of looks like that there for our outline here uh, for our full blocks. And then this remaining space here is going to be filled in with full blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this in with stone full blocks. And I'll come back to you guys here in a sec when I have this all filled in. All right, guys, from this point here, we're also going to go ahead and make one quick addition. So we have this all filled in now. And we're going to go ahead and take these polished andesite blocks. And we're going to actually swap these out for stone brick full blocks. So just make that simple little change there right there on that pylon. And we just go ahead and move into the side here. We want to go ahead and go off of this stone brick block with one and two stone brick slabs. We're going to go ahead and come off of these polished andesite blocks with a polished andesite slab and then one, two slabs, one, two, one, two, and one, two. And going ahead and continuing on, we're going to go ahead and then place down a polished andesite slab here. And we want to go ahead and then go over from this or go from our stone brick and we're going to place down a actual row of four here of stone brick. So that's gonna be a row four. We're gonna place down a stone brick slab here, followed by one uh, and one polished andesite slab right here. After that, uh, we're gonna go and then place down a row of two of stone brick slabs like this. We're gonna go and then take our stone slabs. We're gonna go and go one, two over, and then we want to go one. Then one, two, and then from this we're gonna take our polished andesite slabs. We're gonna place down one, two, one, two, and one. So just like that. And right there we'll do it for this. We're gonna then take our stone slabs and fill in this whole space right here, like so. And we'll have that all filled in like that. And this stone. Brick slab here, we're going to just delete and leave a stone slab right there. And in place, we're going to place down a iron trap door. So just like that for the pile on there. And then also this space right here, we're going to place down two stone brick blocks in that space right there for those behind those polished and type blocks there uh, for the flap designs. And anyways, right, right there is going to complete what we have here set up for layer number uh, 11. We're going to go and take the same design, flip it over the other side, and uh, getting closer and closer to getting done with those wings. Anyways, that's it for what we have here for layer number um, 
Layer number 11, let's move on to layer number 12. Alright guys, move on to our next layer, we have layer number 12. For layer 12, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, quartz slab of, above this empty space here, like that, in the front. We're going to place down a quartz stair, followed by 1, 2, 3, and 4 quartz fall blocks, 2 black concrete blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, and 47. Quartz full blocks back like that. And then moving to the very tail here, we're going to go and place down a light gray stainless block on top of that polished neosite block. Uh, we then want to place down a black concrete block, or two black concrete blocks back behind it, and then three quartz full blocks back. And now right there, we'll do it for the center line. Moving up to the front, we're going to go ahead and start working our way out to the sides. We're going to go and place down a quartz slab on both sides of this stair, followed by a second slab back, and then we're going to take our smooth quartz stairs and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're then going to go ahead and switch to quartz, smooth quartz full blocks. So, right here. And we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and 46 quartz full blocks back. Going back here to the tail, we're going to go ahead and go off of these two quartz blocks. We're going to place down two diorite walls, two quartz full blocks going forward, and then one, two, and three quartz full blocks going backwards, like so. Anyways, with that done there, uh, we're going to go ahead and then move up to the front and continue working our way out to the side. Um, so for this, we're going to go and grab our iron trap doors. We're going to go off of the third stair. We're going to place down one, two, and three iron trap doors. And we want to go and then take our quartz slabs. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five quartz slabs. We're going to go and follow this up by placing down a, actually, a six slab. So you have six of these quartz slabs, and we want to go ahead and then place down a quartz stair, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, quartz full blocks back. We're going to go ahead and then uh, take our quartz stairs real quick, and we're actually going to go and delete 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 blocks from the previous layer or the previous row, and we're going to replace those 11 with quartz stairs. But anyways, once we get done with that, we're going to go and then take our quartz slabs. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 12, 13, 14 back. And then we want to go and then place down a row of 3 of quartz stairs, so 1, 2, 3. And then we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Quartz full blocks back, and then a quartz slab like that on the end there. Our next row here to the side, going again back up to the front. We're going to go ahead and go from this section, and we're going to place down a quartz full block right here, coming off the third quartz block like that to the side. And we're going to go ahead and place down additional 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Uh, quartz full blocks back in uh, 23 and we're going to go then place down one two three quartz slabs and then a iron trap door like that to the side there um, after that's done going ahead and go to this section we're going to then place down uh, come off this middle quartz there and iron trap door followed by one and two back so you have a row of three there we're then going to place down a row of four one two three four of slabs and then a iron trap door just like that uh, when that's all finished there uh, we want to go ahead and then Go back up to this front section here. We're going to take our diorite walls and we're going to place down one, two, three diorite walls and then one, two quartz blocks after that. We're going to go and then switch back to our stone full blocks and we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen and uh, fifteen stone blocks back. We're going to go and then place down a stone brick block and then we want to take our polished anodized slabs. We're going to place down one, two, and three polished anodized slabs back. At this point here, we're going to start doing our wing outline. So for this, we're going to be going ahead and taking our stone brick blocks. We're going to go out four. So we have one, two, three, four. We're going to go and then take our stone blocks. And we're going to go three. So one, two, three. And then we're going to go over one, two, one, two. 
and then we want to go ahead and go to one and then one two three like that and then we're going to go over an angle again we're going to do one and then next to it we're coming off of it forward will be a polished ansite block so polished ansite block then two then you want to go ahead and do uh, one forward again one sec yeah it's gonna be uh two forward again and then it's gonna be one one and then over this space one and then it's gonna be two over just like that so you can outline that looks something like just like this for your beam you're gonna go and then fill this whole space in here with stone so as you can see i went ahead and filled it in with stone now for the slab outline. So for the slabs, we're gonna go ahead and then we're gonna go ahead and do one, two, three slabs like this going back. We're gonna go ahead and then do a second row three and then a third row like that. Um, once that's done there, uh, we want to go ahead and then take our snow brick slabs and we're gonna place down one and two snow brick slabs and then we're gonna go ahead and do one, two, one, two. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a, a row of two of polished anside slabs cut off the side here and then one right here and we're going to go then take our stone brick slabs and we're going to place down one and two stone brick slabs like that now for our stone brick slabs here we're going to go ahead and go one two three four out to the side we're going to go and then switch to stone slabs and we want to go ahead and do one two stone slabs followed by a another uh one, two, one, and then one, two, three. And then from this section here, we're gonna go and then start wrapping this around. So we wanna go and then do a stone slab right here. We're gonna go and then do two polished anside slabs, uh, polished anside slab, and a second one coming off it, or second one next to it. So do two next to it. Then we wanna go and do one, yeah, right there and then one stone slab in that location and then we're gonna place down two stone slabs here two here one one and uh, just like that so that'll be kind of like around the uh, throwing edge or the leaning edge of your wing and then you can just go and then fill in the remain space over here with stone slabs and this right here will fill in your wing and pretty much make it almost complete and uh, yeah that right there is what your wing will look like and here's what it looks like from basically the side there so looking pretty good almost have our wing done and uh, almost have the uh, aircraft actually done so that right there is it for layer number 12 let's go and move into layer number 13. all right guys so real quick before we go and move into our next layer i want to cover one thing that we do need to do and this is going to be simply making a banner design now it's real simple we're just going to go, ahead and go into a loom place down our black banner inner loom and some white dye we're going to go ahead and select the white border that goes around this black banner and that's all we need to do now this banner is then going to go ahead and go in on these um squares right here or basically these quartz blocks here on both sides just like that for these little intakes there um on the fuselage anyways that's it for that again real straightforward and we can go ahead and now move on to layer number 13. All right guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number 13. For layer 13, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go, ahead and go to the top of the aircraft here. We're going to go ahead and go to the third quartz block back. We're going to place down a quartz there on top of it. We're then going to go ahead and go to these two black concrete blocks. We're going to place down two stone buttons. Back from those stone buttons, we're going to go one, two, three, four on our fifth block back. We're going to place down a quartz there. We're going to give a space, place down two iron trap doors, one, two quartz slabs, quartz there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 quartz blocks. 1, 2, 3 quartz slabs. And uh, that right there is going to do it for your center line there going to, from the front. Going to the back here, we're going to go and place down a light gray stained glass paint on top of this light gray stained glass block, followed by an iron trap door coming off of it. We're then going to go ahead and place down a row of two of light gray stained glass blocks. Going back from the light gray stained glass pane, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 quartz blocks going forward, and then three quartz slabs like that to finish off your center line. 
going up to the sides now, we're going to go up to the front, we're going to place down two iron trap doors like this, followed by one and two quartz slabs, and then a quartz stair like so. We then want to go ahead and actually switch this stair to a corner stair, so it's going to be a quartz corner stair. And then we're going to take our full blocks of quartz and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 quartz blocks back, and then 1, 2, 3 quartz slabs. Again, going up to the front here, we're going to go to the sides, place down two iron trap doors, a quartz slab, and after the quartz slab, we're going to place down a second quartz slab, and then a quartz uh, stair. Followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 quartz blocks. And again, 1, 2, 3, quartz slabs back. Our next row here, we're going to take our iron trap doors. We're going to go on top of this block here, iron trap door, and then 1, 2, 3, back to row 4. We're going to then place down a quartz slab, quartz stair, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Quartz full blocks and one, two, three quartz slabs. Uh, and that right there is going to pretty much do it there for that, this forward section. Moving to our tail section here, we're going to go off of these two, the second and third quartz full block here. We're going to place down two iron trap doors. And then we're going to place down one and two quartz slabs, followed by one, two, and three quartz stairs. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine quartz full blocks. 1, 2 quartz stairs, and 1, 2, 3 diorite walls. Uh, a quartz stair, and we're going to skip a space and then place down a quartz stair like that for the back here. Uh, going on to the sides, come off this quartz stair right here, we're going to place down a iron trap door, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 quartz slabs forward, and then 1, 2, 3, and 4 iron trap doors. So just like that, all on the side there. Um, after that, we're going to go now focus our attention back into the wings. So for this, we're going to be going ahead and going to our second quartz full block here. We're going to place down a stone full block. Now coming off that, full, that stone full block, we're going to place down a second one, then back one. And then we want to go ahead and go back a row of four. So one, two, three, four. And then row one, and then one, two. We want to go ahead and then fill in the space here. With stone. Just like that to create that section. Now after that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a polished anthracite slab up here. And going back from that stone slab and then one, two polished anthracite slabs over. We're going to go, ahead and go back to the stone slab, polished anthracite slab next to the stone slab, and then another stone slab back. We're going to go ahead and then place down one, two, and three stone slabs like that going back. We're going to go ahead and then go one two three and then an angle here we're going to go one two three diagonal as well after that uh, we want to go and then go to this one here we're going to place down a second one coming off of it and then we want to go one two three then uh, we just want to go and fill in the remaining space here with stone slabs to go ahead and create a filled in area and just like that we have that filled in and that done there for the wings and anyways, that right there is going to finish off layer number 13 for the build. With that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number 14. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number 14. For layer 14, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and take our iron trap doors. We're going to go ahead and start off by going to our third quartz block uh, above this section here where the wings connect up. We're going to place down an iron trap door on top of it, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 back. We're going to go ahead and go to the second iron trap door out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Out to the side here again of the second one. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So you should have a row of seven here. And then out from the, the third one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven like that back. And that's what it should look like here for this section there. So pretty simple. And then moving back to our teal. Um, so for our teal here, on top of the iron trap door, we're going to place down a polished anthracite block, followed by a second polished anthracite block forward, three quartz, uh, smooth quartz full blocks, a diorite wall, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen quartz full blocks forward, quartz stair, quartz slab, and two iron trap doors. After that, uh, we're going to go to the diorite wall, place down a skeleton school to the side, one more back, and then one, two, diorite walls, and then one, two, stone brick walls. 
And with that all done, that is going to complete layer number 14. And with that, we're going to go ahead and start moving into building uh, a large portion of our vertical stabilizer up. So with that, that's it for layer 14. Let's go ahead and move into uh, our vertical stabilizer. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into uh, a large portion of layers. We have layers 15 through 27. These layers here are going to be uh, mainly covering how to build a large chunk of our vertical stabilizer, as you can see right here. It means for us to go ahead and get started, we're going to place down a polished downside upside down stair on top of this polished downside block, and then we're going to go ahead and go one, two, three, and the three blocks forward. We then want to take our smooth quartz, uh, full blocks, and we're going to be placing down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. After that, uh, we're going to go ahead and then take our stone. And we want to go ahead and place down a stone block, followed by one, two, three quartz uh, blocks, and then a quartz slab like that. After that's done, going ahead and going up to our next uh, layer up, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three polished downside blocks, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten uh, quartz full blocks, and then one, two stone blocks, and then a quartz slab. After that, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick wall on top of this polished downside block, followed by two polished downside blocks back, and then a polished downside upside down stair on the back here. We then want to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten quartz full blocks forward, and then, or sorry, uh, one less, and then two stone blocks like that. Uh, once that's done, going up to our next row, or our next layer, we have three polished downside blocks across, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, quartz blocks and then a stone block like that next row up uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, polished downside block that comes back like this by one and then one two three and then we're going to go ahead and place down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten quartz blocks and a stone block like so go up to our next uh, layer here polished downside block up like this uh, polished downside upside down there coming off it and two polished downside blocks going forward and then we want to go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, quartz blocks forward and a stone block like that. Once uh, that's all complete, we're going to go and then place down a polished downside block on top of this one, one back, stone brick wall, and then a smooth quartz block, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, red concrete blocks, two quartz blocks, and then a stone block. Our next row up. Uh, two polished downside blocks up here, polished downside up down stair, coming off of it, a stone block right here, and then we're going to take our blue concrete this time, and we want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six blue concrete blocks, followed by one, two quartz blocks, and then a stone block like that. Next row going up, three polished downside blocks right here, followed by a uh, stone block. And then we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some white quart or white concrete, and we're going to place down a row of seven again. Or sorry, row of six of white concrete. And we want to go and then place down a quartz block and a stone block. Next row up, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished downside block that sticks out one past here like this, uh, followed by two more going toward the front from it. We're going to go ahead and then place down a smooth quartz block, followed by one, two, three, four, five, and six stone blocks. An air quartz block and an air stone block. Going up again, uh, we're going to place down a stone brick wall right here, polished downside, or sorry, a stone brick wall here, polished downside block, and a polished downside upside down stair. And we're going to go and then take our quartz blocks and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks forward and then a stone block like that. Going up and head, you're going up again, we're going to place down a row of three across the top and then one, two, three three, four, five, six, seven, and then a stone block. And then uh, our last uh, layer, layer 27 here for this section of layers, we're going to go and place down a polished downside block up here, one uh, back, one forward, and we also want to place down a iron trap door coming off of it like that. Once that's done, we're going to then take our quartz blocks, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine quartz blocks forward, followed by a stone upside down stair, and then two iron trap doors coming off the stone upside down stair. Now, with that's all done, um, we also want to add on a little bit here to the side. So, real simply, we're going to go ahead and just go to the side of our vertical stabilizer. 
We're going to place down an iron trap door that is going to be coming off the side of the stair, followed by one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, quartz top size back, and then two iron trap doors. And the same thing is going to be done over here on this side as well. So just like this. Now also, along with this, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone buttons. And we want to take stone buttons and kind of put a little bit of a highlight on the rudder. So for this, we're just going to go ahead and put stone buttons on the quartz blocks next to the polished andesite and stone brick walls. So this is just going to go all the way up, like so. And you want to do the same thing over here on this side as well. So just like that. And once that's all complete there, that is going to wrap up um, our kill and uh, what we really have going on there for layers 15 or yeah, 15 through 27. Um, also, one thing that is optional if you want to add lettering onto the aircraft, you can obviously go ahead and do that. As you can see, I went ahead and copied an actual uh, aircraft designation RF-29209. Uh, um, so you guys can go ahead and copy the same thing or you can go ahead and create your own. Um, I'll be linking a tutorial down in the description that kind of shows you guys exactly how to uh, make these banners, but it's pretty simple and uh, it's real easy. So you can easily make your own um, aircraft numbers and designations and all that stuff. But real simple. All it is is going to this section here. We're going to place RF and a little dash here and then whatever number you want to do. And we're going to do just make sure that it's a five digit number. So we're just going to do the same thing over here. And over here we're going to do the basically the same thing but the opposite way. So just like this, dash RF. So that's all you need there for basically the tail call sign or the tail number of the aircraft and uh, that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward stuff. Anyways, that's going to do it there for layers 15 through 27. Again, I'll be linking in the tutorial down in the description to show you guys how to make the lettered and number banners for you guys to use. Um, but other than that, that's going to do it for uh, layers 15 and 27. Let's go ahead and move into uh, some of our last final layers here building the top of the um, vertical stabilizer. Alright guys, moving on to layer number 28. For 28, we're going to start to get in order of progression to build the entire horizontal stabilizer up here in this layer. Um, but basically, first to go ahead and get started, we do have a little bit of the uh, vertical stabilizer still left to do for the uh, horizontal con to connect to. We're going to start off by going ahead and going to this iron trap door here. We're going to place on a quartz full block on top of it, followed by one forward, and then an iron trap or a quartz top side going from it forward. We're then going to go ahead and go back from this block 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 quartz blocks, followed by a quartz slab here on the end. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then take our skeleton skulls. We're going to go ahead and go to the side of the first two blocks, place down two skeleton skulls, followed by two direct walls, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 quartz full blocks, a quartz stair, a direct wall, and then two skeleton skulls like that back. After that's done, uh, we're going to then place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 stone slabs back, and then 1, 2, 3 polished andesite slabs. We're going to then place down a stone slab, come out the second one here, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 back, and then 1, 2, 3 polished andesite slabs. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to our next row here, go to our second stone slab, one out to the side, and again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 back. And then one, two, three, polished andesite slabs. Our next row here, we're gonna go to the second slab, out to the side, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three. And then again, out to the side from this one, so one out to the side, and then one, two, three, four, five, and six back. And we're gonna then place down one and two uh, polished andesite slabs back like that. After that's done, uh, again, go to the second one, one stone slab out, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three polished andesite slabs. Our next row here, stone slab come off the second one. One, two, three, four, so you have a row five, and then one, two, three polished andesite slabs like that. After that, uh, go to the second one, stone top slab, or half slab, one, two, three, and four, so a total of five, and then one, two, back like that. And so we have something that looks like this so far for it. We're going to go, ahead and go to our second slab here again. Stone slab, one, two, three, and four. And we're going to then place down two stone top 
or two polish the outside slab is back like that. And we're gonna go ahead and go to the second stone slab. Getting out to the side. Stone slab. One, two, three. And then two polished anside slabs. And then for this section here, we're gonna go ahead and place down a stone slab again at the side. One, two, three. And then one polished anside slab. Like that. We're gonna go and then go to our second slab again. Stone slab. Then one, two stone slabs, and then one and two polished anside slabs. We're going to go off this slab again, one, two, three, and four stone top slabs, and then a polished anside top slab there on the end. And then uh, for our next row, a stone top slab here, one, two, polished anside top slab, just like that. And then uh, going off the second one again, stone top slab, second one back, and then one and two polished anside top slabs. And we're going to then go over to the very tips of the wings now, and we're going to go ahead and take our brick slabs, and we're going to place down one, two, three brick slabs, and then one, two. So basically, uh, our horizontal stabilizers should look something like this from above here. Here's basically a direct overview of what they look like, and uh, they're pretty straightforward. So they're all slabs, nothing uh, real different with them, so pretty easy to actually put those on. Anyways, that's it for layer number 28. With that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layer, layer number 29. I right guess so going ahead and moving into our last final layer with layer 29. For layer 29 to go ahead and get started here, we're going to place down an iron trapdoor on top of this quartz block. And uh, we're going to go and then take our quartz slabs and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 quartz slabs back. From this, we're going to go ahead and go to our last two quartz slabs. We're going to place down two iron trapdoors to both sides like that. And we want to go ahead and then place down 1 and 2. One and two back on both sides here, row four. And then down the center line, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five uh, court, or, uh, iron trap doors just like that. And once you have that all complete, that is going to complete layer number 29 of the build. And with that, that will complete your in flight version for the IL 76 uh, MD. I think it definitely looks super sick and is extremely nice. If you are wanting to stick around and build a landing gear, we will be working on that next for you guys. So, uh, yeah, pretty good stuff. That's it for the in-flight version. Let's go ahead and move into the landed version. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our landed version. Now, the really cool thing about this aircraft is that it looks like the, when the aircraft is actually sitting landed, the doors actually close back up around the wheels, so it uh, makes my life a lot easier to do uh, the landed version, so it is uh, pretty easy add-ons for making a landing gear. Anyways, for us to go ahead and get started here, we're going to go ahead and go to the bottom of the fuselage here. We're going to go ahead and go uh, a total of three, or third block forward from this stone upside down stair. We're going to place down a polished anti full block. Now from this we're going to, go to place down a stone brick wall that comes down from it and then a polished anti top slab on the bottom of that wall. We then want to go ahead and place down a nair brick upside down stair. Come off the side of the block, stair on top, stair on the back, stair on the, that. You know the you know the drill here for these wheels, pretty straightforward stuff and we're going to, go to do it one more out so you have two wheels like that. We're going to, go to then uh, do the same thing over here on this side. Just like this. After that's done, we're going to then place down an end rod in the middle space here in between them. And going toward the front here, we're going to place down a polished down side, side that comes off the stone brick wall. And a skeleton skull to both sides, followed by a dark oak wood sign, which will be come off the front of that slab like that. And once you have that all done, that is going to pretty much finish your front wheel. Pretty simple design there. And with that, let's move on to our back wheel. One thing I also want to add on to the front landing here before we move on to the rear is it, coming off this stone brick wall toward the back, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. So, and uh, that right there is it for the front wheel. Moving on to the back wheels, real simple, just like the front, they're kind of like extensions off of the building. The landing gear door doors kind of close in around them when it's actually said it landed. So, to do this, we're going to go ahead and go to our, our the top slabs here. We're going to count uh, to one, two, three, four, and our fifth one here. We're going to go ahead and replace this block right here with a polished chance a full block. And we also want to go ahead and break the stair above it and we're going to place down a polished anti block in that place as well. We're going to go ahead and also place down a stone stair come off the side of this polished anti block and then a polished anti upside down stair come off this polished anti block. Come off the back of the stair we're going to place down a skeleton skull and then come down from the polished anti stair we're going to place down a stone brick wall. On the bottom here of the stone brick wall we're going to place down a polished anti pop slab followed by a narrow brick stair to both sides and we're going to basically build our double wide wheels here on both sides so just like we did for the front there 
and then on the back here, just like the front end rod and then a skeleton skull like that. And that right there will complete your first wheel right here. We then have our second set, which we're gonna go ahead and skip a space of three. So one, two, three, and then we're gonna put our second set right here. So same thing right here, polished and side full block, uh, stone stair, polished and side full block here on the top, like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and just basically build the whole wheel. So stair that goes down like this, stone brick wall on the bottom, stone top slab, narrow brick stairs here to both sides, upside down like that, and like so. And that will basically create uh, your design there, skeleton school, school here, and end rod like that. And that right there will pretty much uh, complete your design there for the wheels. Um, in addition, there is the option of basically building these banner wheels, which I've done a used a few times in my tutorials and stuff. So if you do want to include those, I'll show you guys how to do those. Um, interestingly enough, it seems with the IL-76 that the landing gear is actually green, which is, or has a green like, painted rim to it, which is kind of interesting. Uh, definitely unique for planes and stuff like that that I've seen. So uh, that's where we'll be using. You can obviously switch it to white if you don't like the green look, but um, you know, keeping it accurate to what pictures I've saw and all that, that's what we got going on here. Anyways, we're going to go into a loom and we will need two black banners for this. But really simple, we're going to go and place down a black banner in the loom. We're going to go and place our green die and do a line on the left side here of our banner. We're going to place our second banner in there and do a line on the right side. We then want to grab our die, put our banner back into the loom, and we're going to do a line of black die across the bottom and across the top. And we can go do the same thing over here as well. So, line across, or uh, for this banner, uh, we have the line across the right side here. And we want to go and then just place down the line across the top and the bottom, like so. And then we're just going to go and place down our banners here on our wheels. So, just like this to both sides there. And make sure the green portions are facing each other. And we're going to do the same thing for here for the back wheels. And you can do this to each uh, side here. I think it adds a little bit of extra detail to the wheels and just kind of looks nice overall. Um, but again, it's kind of personal preference. Some people like it, some people don't. So, definitely an optional thing, but I do think it definitely adds a little bit to the uh, aircraft. Anyways, that right there is going to complete the landed version of the IL-76 MD, and with that, it's going to complete my tutorial for both the in-flight and landed version of the IL-76 MD. Hope you guys did enjoy the tutorial. Again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter Repentless Lamb for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more, you guys already do. Feel free to check out my Patreon page. Again, link is always down in the video descriptions. Uh, other than that, if you guys do end up using this as I do, I see you guys can be proper credit for this. Be thankful for the sign on the build to a link to my channel or this video if this does appear on any social media sites as long as you guys give me proper credit for your free or for projects you guys are working on and that thank you guys all so much for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe this has been Gary 204 and i'll see you guys next time